In Creo View, you can look at cross sections of a model. To do that, go to the sectioning tab. And if you go to the preset section drop down list, you can view the cross sections along the X, Y, and Z axes. Those directions correspond to the little triad that you have at the bottom left of the graphics area. Here I also have cross sections A and B because these were ones that were in the original assembly model. So let's take a look at these. If I go to the X axis one, here you can see corresponding to the X direction. And let's go to the Y direction. And now let's go to the Z direction. And by default, it is going through the default datum planes of the default coordinate system. If you want to manipulate the section, just click on the boundary and you will get the 3D dragger. You can use this if you want to translate along one of the different axes that you have. And along with translating, you can grab one of the rings and rotate the section to the desired angle. You can see that there is a little number on the screen indicating the amount of the rotation. And so let's just drag it to some angle and leave it there. If you no longer want to see or use this cross section, just click on the delete section command and it will go back to being unsectioned. Let's go to the Z axis section again. Another control that you can use is the view section button, which will turn the sectioning on or off. So for example, now the Z axis section is turned off, but when I click on view section, it goes to the last active section. You also have the choice between doing a planar cut or a quarter cut. And a quarter cut will just give you a second plane and it chooses it for you automatically. Let's say that you wanted the second plane to be in a different orientation. To the right of the word setup, there is a little down arrow. It's a little hard to see. If you click on that, it will open up the section properties dialog box. And this allows you to apply different controls to cut one and cut two to get it exactly where you want it to be. I'm going to close this. I'm not going to change that. Let's toggle back to a planar section. The next control that you have here is to show a 2D view. And when I click on the 2D view, it's essentially going to give you two different windows. Here we have a window for the 3D model. And then here we have the 2D section view. You can control the translation of the section with this slider over here. Alternatively, like we took a look at before, if you click on the boundary of the section, you can also use the drag handles to manipulate it by translating it and rotating it. And when you do that again, it will update in the little 2D view. Let's turn off showing the 2D view. And so we have the section displayed in the main window. Let me go back to just a straight Z axis section without any of the rotation. And we have a couple other additional controls here. You can control whether the sections are capped. And if you turn that off, it's almost like you're looking at a surface view of the model. It's not showing you sort of like the internal volume. Let's go back to capping the section. And the next control is for showing the boundary. And that's that little box that shows you essentially where the section is going through the model. And next we have the control for which components in the assemblies are going to be sectioned. And by default, it is set to intersect with all. I can turn that off and then I can say, all right, let's make sure that you know some of these different parts over here are the ones that we want to have sectioned. Let me select some of the exterior components. Now we'll choose add selected and then let's deselect everything. So all the internal components are not sectioned and just the components that I had selected and clicked on add selected are the ones that are intersected. But again, you can choose the intersect with all button and that way everything will have the cross section applied. Hey, let me turn off the boundary. And now I can view the interior of the model. That's how you use the sectioning tab in Creo View. Once again, if you no longer want to see the section anymore, hey, just click on delete section and it will restore the model.
I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.